Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to ICY Story Time. Today we're going to be reading a story called The Prophet's Pond, written by Zahir Khatri. So let's start. Bismillah. The Prophet's Pond. Mommy said, Zaid. I'm meeting someone by a special pond. It's someone of whom I am most fond. But it may be a little hard to find. So please help me if, you, if you'd be so kind. Why, of course, said Mommy. I don't mind. A pond so- shouldn't be too hard to find. So they set off walking along through a park and way beyond until they stumbled upon a dark green murky pond. That's not the pond we're looking for, said Zayed. Its water doesn't look yummy. The special pond is sweet, sweeter than honey. Sweeter than honey, said Mommy. How delicious that pond must be. And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patience, said Zaid, until you meet me. So they marched on, crossed a meadow, and way beyond until they stumbled upon a rich, thick, sticky pond. No, that can't be, said Zaid. Its color is dark like the night. The special pond is brighter than milk white. Brighter than milk white, said Mommy. How delightful that pond must be. And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patience, said Zaid, until you meet me. So they rumbled on into a forest and way beyond until they stumbled upon a bright, white, sparkling pond. Oh, that's not the one, said Zaid. I can jump across in a few strides, but it would take me a month's ride to cross just one of the special pond's sides. A month to cross one side, said Mommy. How gigantic that pond must be. And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patience, said Zaid, until you meet me. So they turked on up a mountain and way beyond until they stumbled upon a vast, deep, steamy pond. Definitely not, said Zaid, sniffing the air. It smells like rotten rust. The special pond scent is finer than musk. Finer than musk, said Mommy. How fragrant that pond must be. And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patience, said Zaid, until you meet me. So they roamed on across a valley and way beyond until they stumbled upon a fine sandy scented pond. Not at all, said Zaid feeling his throat turning dry. There are no cups here for me to try, but the special pond is sprinkled with cups, more cups than the stars in the sky. More cups than the stars in the sky, said Mommy. What a sight that pond must be. And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patience, said Zaid, 
until you meet me. So they sailed on, down a river and way beyond, until they stumbled upon a fresh water speckled pond. I'm afraid not, said Zaid, as he scooped its water up to his lips. I still feel thirsty after these sips, but one taste of what the special pond contains, and I will never ever feel thirsty again. Never ever feel thirsty again, said Mommy. How can that be possibly be? And if you find it, just who do you hope to see? He told me, have patient, said Zaid, until you meet me. So they strolled on by a waterfall and way beyond, until they stumbled upon a crystal clear icy pond. At last, said Zaid, a pond of ice. Alhamdulillah, said Mommy. That sounds suffice? Not quite, said Zaid. The special pond is far more cold, and it fed by paradise streams twofold. One stream of silver, the other of gold. Paradise streams of silver and gold, said Mommy with a little laugh. Why, that's a pond from the hereafter. And now I know just who you hope to see. But nonetheless, I like you to tell me. All right, said Zaid, since you have come so far, I hope to meet. Muhammad, the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the one of whom I am most fond. He's the one I hope to meet by the special pond. Mommy wiped the tears from her eyes. I pray he will have in store for us a surprise when we meet him and over the pond we all stand, that he gives us its water with his own hand. But until then, said Mommy, hugging Zaid tight, we will stick to his way with all our might. And although the trials we face are a must, in Allah alone we place our trust. And with patience, we shall respond until we meet the Prophet by his pond. That's the end of our story for today. Inshallah, I will see you all next week. Assalamu alaikum.